Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, what's so compelling about rivalries in sports is that athletes need each other if they're going to go to great heights. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to solidify his legend. Jack Nicklaus probably needed Arnold Palmer to go to a place that he had not been. And I think that's true across the board as we look at rivalries in sports. I think it defines careers, Rich. Uh, it's not until those players retire that they realized how important it was to have that, that foe. You know, so often we're, we're living in the present, in the present, like we are now with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. And it's not for years to come that we'll realize the sport wouldn't have been the same with one without the other. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Frank, what's the key here? Second shot at 14. Green sits up a little bit, well protected by those bunkers there. A nice high, soft landing shot. Terrific golf shot, and now that for an easy birdie. Just a couple of feet. Drops for a birdie. Solid par four here. The 15th is 468 yards. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Frank, the 15th is called turning home. Time now to turn on the Jets and a good chance. Yeah, after a good drive, once again, height's going to be rewarded here with the second shot. See the way that green is protected by the bunkers. So if you can come in here really high, get that to land soft, there's a lot of flags on this green that you can go at. Should be safely on deck. Pure strike, good result. Uh, and that is close. Far yesterday. Now for birdie. A good solid stroke there. No sign of nerves on that. Par 5 16th is a slight dog leg left at 600 yards.
Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Second shot from the rough, it's on the way. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. Frank, it's not about getting the ball close to the hole from that spot. Well, he had no chance to get it close. You know, I thought he had very, very, very little chance of getting it on the green. So given that, that was a very good shot. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. He'll take par and move on. Now to the signature par three. It only plays 168 yards from the tips, but the tee sits up high and the wind can blow and a lot can happen here. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Still some work to do here at the par three, Frank. Yeah, you'd think there with the size of that green, this green would be an easy one to hit, but uh, that's irrelevant now. Let's see if he can get it up and down. What are the chances of making it from there? One great hole after another here at PGA West. The finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers uh, we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left side. And this is just a reward for uh, a great swing, a great strike, a great shot. Good contact, good result. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Offline, and, and I think that one's headed for the rough. Perfect, and in the hole. 